Following the heat waves, the UN Secretary General says that unless humanity acts together, it'll come to collective suicide. And I'm quoting, no country is immune. We have a choice, collective action or collective suicide. It is in our hands. And I'm asking myself, if we all know that we're facing a global catastrophe, why can't we do it? Unite amongst us and find a solution. We can't. It's impossible for us to unite because of our ego. What is this ego and why doesn't it allow it? We're facing a common threat. From the inside, I simply can't. In me, there is something that does not allow me to connect with others. But God forbid you might die. Even so. It's that bad? Yeah. What is it, like a vicious animal sitting inside of you? Right. And we finally need to get to know it. What does it want? It doesn't allow us to consider others. There's like a barrier that I can't leap over. What is this barrier exactly? That I need to consider others? A person can't do that? No. I thought that man is the wisest creature in nature. No, no, the most stupid creature in nature. In the worst possible state, he's still looking for how to take advantage of the other. What will all of this lead us to? Man simply needs to acknowledge how unbounded our ego really is. Is this recognition the beginning of our healing? Yes, it is. And the healing will come from above. What do you mean? We will need to acknowledge that it is in our ability to ask, to pray for our connection. And then by our connection, all the forces of nature will reach balance. So why did nature create us with an ego to begin with? For us to rise above it? To what? To the force of love, bestow in connection. So that we'll see how we're about to finish off our entire civilization and life and everything else that will understand that we have no choice and that we're willing to connect.